the sky's clear tonight, so I've decided to try setting up the Monster Telescope, the 4-inch F15 refractor. Well, I found these extra parts in the box, so I'm going to see if I can figure out where they go. Well, I think I've got it, but I've still got a piece left over. What's this piece? Well, it can't be too important. This is the first time I've actually picked this up on its own out of the box. And it's actually not that heavy. It's quite, uh, well, it's, it's, you know, it's not light, but it's not too difficult to hold. This bar here has a, has a weight on it for balancing the telescope. I assume, but it interferes with the clamp that holds it on the mount. Mm. Could take that bar off, I guess. I guess I could. Well, I took I took this piece off. Um, it may not be necessary. It's just a a balancing weight, and now the clamp the clamp is in place. So now I'm going to check the balance. It's not too bad actually. I think if I just bring this weight up a little bit, it'll be fine. I brought that counterweight all the way up to the top of the bar, and it's pretty good, it's a pretty good balance actually. It's not bad. So now I'll check the balance in the uh, what is it? The declination axis. Oh. It's a bit, that's a bit unbalanced. That's a bit unbalanced. See? Balanced. Found another piece. It's a floppy one. I think I know where this one goes now. That doesn't fit. They don't really fit. It's close. Well, I figured it out. It's just a push fit. Push it. Alright. And it's just tight enough. It's, uh, you know, the, the barrel is sort of um, sprung a little bit. So it does hold it quite firmly, but it seems like a very uh, dodgy way to hold an eyepiece. Well, I did manage to see Saturn. Tried a few different eyepieces. It looks pretty good, actually. Um, whether it's any better than um, my telescope, I'm not sure. But, uh, you know, it's quite um, good for a 4-inch. You know, I'm surprised how good it is. But, you know, that's what they say. Refractors are very good uh, for planetary observing. <laughs>